What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday, and uh, we're going back to the well for some more Stadium Club Chrome. And honestly, it's a rip that I enjoyed. Now, granted, I got lucky, and this, what I did previously, was my hobby box attempt. And you know what? We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again with three more blaster boxes of Topps Stadium Club Hobby uh, Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. Now, the difference is. Like I said, the hobby box has 18, uh, 16, no, 14 packs, Jesus, 14 packs of six cards. This has a total of 12 packs of seven cards. In the end, it's the exact same amount, but we're going to see what we can get in a second. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Ripping Packs on Monday, and we are ripping open three blaster boxes in our Hobby Box Attempt Part 2 of Stadium Club Chrome. So I got three of these bad boys, Now I picked them up for 25 bucks each. Uh, one, at, one, more, one more I had left over from Target, and I did pick up some from Best Buy, um, which I will show you an interesting story on that one. But before we get to any of this ripping, did this on Friday. I'm going to be taking a break from the channel for a little while um, due to, honestly, the uh, current climate of the world uh, job-wise. My wife and I both work in the film industry and there's a writer's strike that's a possibility of looming and reason why, budgetary reasons, things like that, I'm just taking a, taking a step back. I will come back to the channel. I'm probably going to have a couple more rips here and there, but realistically it's going to be um, the slow of the channel. I might come back as a reformatted brand on the channel. Um, I've mentioned like Scotty B cards who I do like his channel. I don't see a lot of personality, but so I'm thinking of maybe doing something, rebranding it that way, maybe doing a rip every now and then, but doing more talking about the hobby, doing things like that. Maybe a hell I'll turn it into a podcast. I don't know. But anyway, that's what's going on. I appreciate everybody out there who's been watching the channel and been constantly helping the subscriber base go up. I appreciate that. There's many friends out there I've made during this time. And again, I'm not stopping, but I'm going to be putting a, a temporary hold on the channel for a while due to, honestly, money. I don't have the money to go out there and continue throwing, um, putting out, getting out product. Now, if you, any of you want to send product my way, I will gladly take it and rip it on the channel. But realistically, come on, we all know how that is. So anyways, you can do that. Great. And that. Great. And that. And leave a comment. And the comment is, how has Stadium Club uh, Chrome been for you this year? It's to me, it's been the retail uh, hit of the year. Bowman was great last year. This technically is under 2022. Um, this would be, if not there, close to it. And honestly, I like top here, top heritage high numbers, blasters. Those were great too. But what is, you know, has Stadium Club Chrome been good for you? I have friends of mine who ripped open like 30 blasters and got nothing. I ripped open three and got an auto, a numbered card, and a Julio. Which okay, Julio's not great right now, but come on. Anyway, are you ready? Great. First things first, we're going to go in. We're going to rip open this box from Best Buy. And how do I know it's from Best Buy? Look at it. Yeah. This was a, you know, store delivery. And I picked it up. And they, of course, because they're being delivered, they only have a handful. This is how it came. Now, I surveyed it. Still has a Topps logo. Was not anything. Was not messed around with or anything. Oh. And, uh, yeah, I was just like, you know what? Okay, this still looks... Good on the good and the up and up for me, for me. So I'll go ahead and take it and rip it. By the way, that's what you can get inside of here. You can get some decent cards. I mean, you can get a lot of base, but you never know. Anyway, are you ready to rip open this? Already, the box has been opened, but the plastic's still on it. So I don't even know how the hell that worked. Anyway, you ready? Let's go. Ripping packs. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. All right. Now I could open it from the bottom, which would probably be the smartest thing to do. But I gotta keep the box because it's definitely interesting. All right, let's see if we get some damage cards here too because you never know. Uh, we got, there's our four packs of seven cards. We do have one X-Fractor per pack. Stadium Club Chrome. Let's attempt a hobby box part two. Pack number one, ripping packs. Three, two, one, let's rip some packs. Let's go. All right, looks like we got a refractor already and a, okay. Good God. Okay, so we got Xander Bogarts here going into the PC. 
Ivan Castillo, rookie. Now, I didn't mention at the top of the show, but on the other episode, Stadium Club was originally a 300-card checklist. Uh, with Chrome, they pumped it, up, pumped it up to 400, and they did do image changes and things like that. So there's a rookie I'm not aware of. It would be in the 390 world, and it's 248, so I'm way off. We have Max Kepler here with the X-Fractor. Max, uh, Ma Max Kepler, the Twins outfielder, going into the, well, the parallel and inserts pile because Max Kepler just isn't a hit, which will be down here. Then we got a uh, Lorenzo Kane refractor. Lorenzo Kane, who is now retired, uh, formerly of the Milwaukee Brewers and the Kansas City Royals. Gonna go hang out with uh, Max Kepler there in the low, oh, wow, we got an autograph already, wow. Not a name, but still, yeah, it's a refractor. <laughs> Josh Winder, autograph for the Twins. So right now, our uh, hobby box attempt, big thumbs up. Josh Winder there for the Twins. Looks like it's a uh, base card uh, autograph, but still. I pulled a Cabrian Hayes last time, pulled this. Ooh, that is pretty awesome, and it is a, uh, yeah, it's just a base, but it's uh, that's a nice little hit. Either way, I don't care if it's in, if it's a hit name, I'm going for, again, the uh, the attempt of a hobby box. And there is C.J. Abrams, a rookie I'm very high on, if you don't watch the channel. He's doing okay right now. I mean, he could be doing better, but he's still young. Dude's only like 21 years old. C.J. Abrams for the Nationals, former Padre. And that is, yeah, just a base. And Helio Ramos. So we got three, four rookies, one being an autograph. Helio Ramos there for the Giants, who's going to be probably a 4A player this year. Hell, we got the autograph already. That's pretty sweet. All right, for pack number, uh, pack number two of Stadium Club Chrome from box number one. Yeah. All right. We are... Wow. We're we're getting some stuff here. We got Lorenzo Kane. Oh, we should be getting stuff. Uh, Colton Wong here, who is now with the Mariners. Got ourselves Sterling Marte. I believe I pulled him last time with the... Uh, with the X uh, with the X Fractor parallel, there is Sterling Marte for the Mets. Let's see if we got a cool card coming up. We did get a blue Reed Detmers. Is that the fifty? I like Reed. I do. I mean, he's he's got some good possibilities there in Anaheim. Um, he's just a solid pitcher. He's he's going to get better and better with time. But there's Reed Detmers. I want to say that's to fifty. I could be wrong there. Maybe one. No, I think it's one ninety nine because that's what. Yeah, Reed Detmers there for the Angels. Much better rookie than last time. Uh, yeah, to 112 to 199. Reed Detmers for the Angels. That's awesome. Uh, Chris Bryant for the Rockies. Joe Adele hit the crap out of the ball. I'm going to put him in the hit pile. First hit today. And Carlos Correa doing a little swang dancing. His box has been great. I need more damage boxes. Jesus. Pack number three of Stadium Club Chrome. Box one. And we got a parallel, an insert here. We got ourselves Austin Meadows, who is not playing right now. Alec Bohm, Tyler Gilbert, rookie for the Diamondbacks. I think he's in Reno, or he's they're going to need to uh, reassess. Uh, I mean, or designate him. Um, Three no hitter is uh, not his major league debut, but his major league season's first season. Um, great story, but just you know, just was it was a great pitcher that day. Tyler Gilbert for the Diamondbacks. Did get a X Fractor here of Seth Beer, so we got two Diamondbacks who really aren't doing much with the big club. Uh, at least it's a rookie, but there's Seth Blair Beer with the X Fractor. Again, these X Fractors are only available in the retail. Team of the future, Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers, who's slowly but surely climbing that batting average up from, you know, below his weight. But I still like Spencer. I just don't think he's going to be the player that, you know, we all thought he'd be. Uh, Zach Logue, tons of rookies, my god. Zach Logue for the A's with the rookie card. And the last card is Hoy Park. God, we got a ton of rookies today. Not good ones, but a ton of them. <laughs> for the Pirates. All right, last box. I mean, last pack here. Box number uh, one of Stadium Club Chrome. Pack number four. This, this has been a good box, my god. This has been a good box. I need to buy more of those completely damaged boxes. Carlos Rodon, Nolan Ryan going into the PC pile, and you watch the channel, you know why, but if you didn't, uh, my brother uh, got pitching lessons from Nolan Ryan for a week. Yeah, awesome. There's more of a story to it, but yeah. And if you Google Camp Nolan Ryan, there's a very good chance you're going to see videos of mine that I shot with him when my brother was 14 years old. Um, if you're a young baseball player, watch it because it's... Just unedited, hour-long footage of Nolan Ryan talking pitching with Tom House. 
and I'm in the room. PC pile. We have Joe Musgrove there with the, uh, is that a, that's not a refractor, is it? No, it's not. Uh, Sal Perez there blowing a bubble, some bubble gum there, and the X-Fractor parallel. Again, not a yet. We haven't pulled any good X-Fractor so far. There's Sal Perez, counting last week. Did get a Max Scherzer, uh, Trophy Hunters, who hopefully doesn't serve that 10-game suspension, because, come on, Rosin? Yeah. Max Scherzer, I do throw Max in the hits, but that's the uh, 1993, I think, uh, insert. All right, and then we got uh, Tory Hunter here for the Twins. He was a good ball player. And Paul Molitor, who I would throw into an old man vet pile, but Hall of Famer and just a great pure hitter. So there is box number one. Not shabby at all, seriously. Probably all downhill from there. But box number two, what you gonna give us? You're gonna give us four more packs of seven cards and four X-Fractors and hopefully good times, yes. Not the greatest auto, but again, I don't care because this is again, a hobby box attempt. All right, here we go. We got four more fat packs here of seven cards. Stadium Club Chrome. I'm loving it so far. Pack number one of box two with Shohei on the cover. Let's go. Oh, good lord. We got oh, we got a uh, a, um, a wave parallel. Patrick Wisdom, who's having an awesome start of the season. Blake Snell for the Padres. X-Fractor here of Andrew Jones. I think I got an X-Fractor of him last time, too, so there's something there. Uh, Aaron Andrew Jones, the uh, might be Hall of Famer one day, but you never know. We did get a Team of the Future here. Jonathan India pulled this last time. Uh, Jonathan India with the Team of the Future. Three in the hits for right now, and he's a low-key hit. We did get a Way so let's go to the back just in case. Y'all's Monty Grandal looking like a baller there, literally a basketballer. Acuna going into the hits, and this it's a wave trophy hunters. Miggy Miggy Cabrera, this got to be numbered or something, right? No, it's not. It's just a uh, ray wave of Miggy, not numbered or anything. But um, I haven't pulled any of those yet um, of the ray waves. But there's Miggy. That's a, that's a decent hit right there. I don't know the odds. I already put it below there. Um, but yeah, that's that's a pretty cool hit so far. Um, Miggy goes in the hits either way because he's going to be a Hall of Famer. I'll pull you over here into the uh, cool hit pile. All right. I just love this stuff. Pack number two of Stadium Club Chrome Box 2. Okay, we got another trophy hunters here. We got Vladdy. That would be a great picture card to get signed, Vladdy. Look, you can see uh, everything behind me right there. Yeah, cool, huh? <laughs> There's Vladimir Guerrero going into, well, the hits, whatever. Bo Bichette. A couple father-son combos right there. There's Bo Bichette there for the Blue Jays. Definitely a hit. Our uh, next card, Mike Clevenger, who's now with the White Sox. X-Fractor is Lucas Giolito. Yeah, I'm not pulling again, not pulling any good X Fractors, but Lucas Giolito for the White Sox. He's been pitching better now. Our trophy hunters here, Poppy. Nice going into the PC pile right there. Our second PC hit of the day. David Ortiz, gonna go hang out in the PC pile. And then Luis Robert, who is a hit, and Cecil Fielder is going into, well, I liked him, but yeah, not enough. All right, pack number three of Blaster Box number two Stadium Club Chrome. It's a blast. All right, we got Liam Hendricks, who's cleared to come back and play ball. Bobby Dahlbeck, going back and forth between Wooster and the Red Sox. Jeff McNeil here for the X-Fractor. With the Mets, there is Jeff McNeil, the infielder utility guy, but pretty much second baseman for the Mets. Uh, led league in hitting, hitting last year. We got ourselves Lourdes Gurriel here with the uh, Refractor. Uh, now with the Diamondbacks, uh, but Luis Lourdes Gurriel uh, playing baseball in Arizona now, but formerly from Cuba. I want to say that is the refractor, though. Yep, a refractor, so you're just going to go down here because you're not a hit. Here is Donnie Baseball for the Yankees, who we all know Donnie Baseball. We all thought he would have been in the Hall of Fame also, but there's Don Mattingly. Going to go hits Mitch Hanniger, who is now with the, White, uh, the Giants, and John Cruck. All right, last pack. Pack number four of Stadium Club Chrome Box 2. Let's go. All right. Okay, we got a 
uh, beam team. Greg Diekman, rookie for the Cubs. Uh, you're going to get these rookies. That's what sucks. But Because, again, 400 card checklist. So you're getting guys that they may have omitted. I think he was in base stadium club, though. But there's Greg Diekman for the Cubbies. He's going to hang out in the rookies. Walker Bueller going into the PC. Patrick Wisdom with the X-Fractor. Again, he's having a great year, but come on, he's not a hit. But there's Patrick Wisdom with the X-Fractor. Again, no real big deals. And then we got a beam team rookie. Wander, nice. Nice. Wander's having a great start of the year. And a hobby. The hobby's enjoying him again. Hey, what do you know? There's Wander with the beam team rookie card. And they're all, yeah, they're all, yeah. There's Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. He's having a crappy start of the year, but I'm still high on this kid. Kid's got great speed, knows how to hit, and the Diamondbacks are kind of surprising a lot of people right now. Um, they're, they're, they'll fall back to earth. Uh, but Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks rookie. Roy Campanella, PC for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And Cal Ripken goes in the hits because he's an old man vet. Ready for our last box? Box number three of Stadium Club Chrome. I mean, right now, we got our hobby box again. We got four more packs of seven cards though, so we're gonna see if we can get just a little bit more greatness. All right, here we go. Mm, man, just this is such great, this is such a just fun product. There's four more packs right there of seven cards. Let's finish it up. Pack number one of box three, Stadium Club Chrome. All right. Rylan Bannon here for the Orioles. I think he ended his year of the Braves, but then again, it's Chrome, and it Chrome takes a lot longer to make. There's Rylan Bannon, rookie for the Orioles. Again, not a big rookie. Uh, there's Tim Salmon. Uh, that's 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 a fun card. I'm not a Angels fan per se. I go to Angels games occasionally, but Tim Salmon right there, just celebrating after the uh, after they beat the Giants in the World Series. Probably there's Tim Salmon. Not a hit, but I wanted to show it to you. Willie Adamas there, now, uh, still with the Brewers. Got Gavin Sheets with the X-Fractor Rookie. I think I pulled a Refractor of him last time, but now I got two X-Fractor and Refractor of Gavin Sheets, the rookie we're all clamoring for for the White Sox. Yeah. Mm. Jazz Chisholm with the Team of the Future. Jazz is just awesome. I think his value went down with him moving to the outfield because um, middle infield, second base, he is just great, but still a great ball player, so take that take that with a grain of salt. But Jazz Chisholm goes into the hits in my world. Noah Syndergaard now with the Dodgers and Teoscar Hernandez, who, yeah, is with the Mariners. All right, pack number two of box three. Stadium Club. Got another, another one of those trophies. We got Amir Med Rosario for the Guardians. Shane Boz, rookie, yeah, he'll come back in next year, but he's still young. That's one thing I've always said. He's still young, so he's still got a good future ahead of him. There's Shane Boz. Got ourselves Chris Bryant with the X-Fractor. Again, I'm, not, I'm pulling dog for X-Fractors. There's Chris Bryant. I'm going to go hang out with the others. Trophy hunters here of uh, Mike Trout. You cannot go wrong with Mike. The hard part is he is trophy hunting, but he's not trophy succeeding because it's not his fault. It's more like what the Angels are doing. But there's Mike uh, Mike Trout going into the hits, and I think that's just the base because I know they are all refractors in the inserts, but could be, yeah, it's just the base, but still, it's a great Mike Trout card. Chaz McCormick there for the Astros with the rookie card, the center fielder extraordinaire. Good ball. Overall good ball player. Yuli Gurriel for the Astros now with the Marlins. And Craig Kimbrell, his one season with the Dodgers, which lands in my PC pile. Pack number three of box three. Let's see if those numbers uh, make something better in this pack. You know, three of three. And, uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Sean Murphy here. There with the A's now with the Braves. Gary Sanchez now with the Giants. Our X-Fractor, Colton Wong. My God. Yeah, Colton Wong now with the Mariners. Again, not a big deal. Former Cardinal. Uh, and then we got a Xander Bogarts refractor. <laughs> I like Xander, um, but he's not a he's a Potter right now, and he's having a good season. But yeah, there is the refractor, but it's still a Red Sox, so it goes in the PC. Cabrian Hayes, who I pulled a bunch of last time, including the auto. Isaiah Kenafalafa and Aaron Judge goes in the PC pile, but. He's feeling. You'd think they would get an image of him hitting the crap out of a ball, but whatever. Aaron Judge for the Yankees. PC Pile. Last pack. Again, we pretty much got our hobby box again. We got the auto. We got a couple parallels. We're doing okay. Pack number four of box number three. Ribbon packs. Let's finish this bad boy up. 
would like to pull a good rookie. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I'm looking at the sides. I'm not looking at Bobby Witt, who is, yeah, he's not having a great start of the season. But again, the guy's young, and just the Royals in general are not having a good start of the season. So it's infectious. Uh, there's Bobby Witt with the base rookie. Again, a rookie I actually do, I do like, and I'm, I'm no problem sitting and waiting for him to get his crap together. We got ourselves Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. The next Fractor here, Carlton Fisk. Okay, at least it's a PC hit, so I can be happy with that one. Carlton Fisk there for the Red Sox. Gonna hang out in the PC pile with that X Fractor. I did see the top of this card, it's red, so that's parallel. Tampa Bay Rays pitcher, is that Shane McClanahan? Oh my God, it is. Shane McClanahan of the McClanahans with the red parallel. I have not pulled a red, so I'm assuming it's to 100, maybe 50, maybe 10. I don't know, but I'll find out here in a second. Shane McClanahan of the McClanahans. Great pitcher, by the way, but just I keep pulling this guy. It is number two, five. Oh my God. It is five. Just like base has been. Uh, just like um, regular Chrome Bowman. Red to five. Wow. Okay, that's. Crap, that's awesome. Wish it would have a better player, but still. And McClan has a great pitcher, so it's not a knock there. Joey Votto with the beam team right there for the Reds. Speaking of red, Joey Votto going into the inserts parallels because that's where I put him. Shohei again with the base. Pulled him last time, but there is Shohei going into the hit pile, the uh, pitcher designated hitter. And might as well round it out with another guy who hasn't pitched in two years. Steven Strasburg. I'll show you for the hell of it, but there's Strasburg who might come back in June or might never come back. There's Steven Strasburg for the Nationals going in the Commons. Um, wow. Wow. That's definitely a hobby box. Those three boxes, again, are hobby box. $75 versus it's all like $150, $160 right now. So, yeah. Let's go over the rookies we got here real quick. Uh, we got ourselves a Bobby Witt base, Chaz McCormick. Shane Boz, Gavin Sheets for Fra uh, X-Fractor, Ryland Bannon, Alec Thomas Base, Wander Beam Team, Greg Diekman, Hoy Park, Zach Logue, Spencer Torkelson, Team of the Future, Seth Beer, X-Fractor, Tyler Gilbert, Helio Ramos, CJ Abrams, and Ivan Castillo. I mean, realistically, I mean, again, I'll show you the hit rookies in my opinion. The CJ Abrams right there, definitely a hit rookie. Okay, he's not doing well, but I like him. The Torkelson Team of the Future, uh, again, I'm still, I still got high hopes. The Alec Thomas, Alec Thomas base. Again, same thing, high hopes. Um, the uh, Bobby Witt base. Again, high hopes. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's just having a bad, bad part of the year. Um, but realistically, getting the uh, the Wander Beam Team, which is again, not as big of a deal as when you get a Beam Team in um, regular stadium club, but still getting a Wander. You know, who's been hitting the ball well. PC, we owe, um, we got the Nolan Ryan, the Carlton Fisk X Fractor, Aaron Judge Base, Bogarts Refractor, Kimbrel, Campy, Bueller, Bobby D, David Pop, uh, Poppy, Trophy Hunters, and Bogarts. For our hits, I mean, we got a, we got a decent amount of hits, but again, 400 cards and I'm loose. Shohei, Cabrian, Mike Trout with the uh, Trophy Hunters, Tism, Chesham, Team of the Future, uh, Iron Horse, Mattingly, Blue Bob, Bochette. Uh, Guerrero, India team of the future, Acuna, we got the Scherzer, uh, Trophy Hunters, and Joe Adele, but the best hit hit, if you will, the Mike Trout Trophy Hunters right there, pretty sweet looking card there. And inserts and parallels, I mean, we got a lot of X-Fractors, and they're all just no names, not no names, but again, just nobody, you, the hobby's getting excited for. We got the meme team of v Joey Votto, Colton Wong X-Fractor, Bryant X-Fractor, Wisdom X-Fractor, Refractor of Lourdes Gurriel, X-Fractor of McNeil, X-Fractor Giolito, Andrew Jones, Sal Perez, Sterling Marte, Refractor of Lorenzo, and an X-Fractor of Max Kepler. But to, you know, we got our, the Miggy Cabrera wave with the Trophy Hunters. Um, again, he's gonna be a Hall of Famer. It's not like the guy's a big hit, but come on, it's Miggy Cabrera. I'd rather pull this than Buster Posey like I did last time. The Reed Detmers Blue, number to 199. Reed Detmers, again, a solid rookie. Yes, he's a pitcher, but I still think he's a solid rookie. The autograph, not numbered autograph here of Josh Winder, the pitcher for the Minnesota Twins. And, again, because you're not guaranteed an auto, and a red. I'm not a McClan. I mean, I, I kind of PC'd McClanahan, not realistically, but jokingly, just because I kept pulling him. Shane McClanahan, one to five. 
out of a friggin now again it's McClanahan he's a pitcher but he's Cy Young candidate possibly every year now the way he pitches one to five out of a retail blaster yeah number to five so pretty damn sweet so there you go there's your ripping packs for Monday more Stadium Club Chrome and I would buy more I really would I can't good a finding it B it's just hard. It's just, you know, financially, I just can't be spending more money on cards. Um, I need to, honestly, sell some of the uh, wax that I do have. Um, and so I need to be aggressive on eBay now. I really do. And again, it's not for like, I can't work. It's more because the work that I'm usually getting isn't being presented right now, uh, now or later for possibly, you know, six months. My wife worked in the industry here in LA the last time we had the, uh, the writer strike and she was out of work for almost eight months. So we got to be very, very cautious with our spending, very cautious with our money. And as much as I love this, and as much as I love when Bowman's going to hit, I'm going to have to definitely, that'll be my last new release box I open for a while. Yeah. Unless the lovely viewers of Ripping Packs decide to send product for me to rip. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Ripping Packs, the channel, me, this whole thing, this whole world. Wouldn't be here if you weren't watching all this and subscribing, so thank you. Wouldn't be here if you weren't liking, thank you. Notification bell, and again, leave a comment. The comment is, how has Stadium Club Chrome been to you? It's been pretty damn good over here. Yeah. Anyway, take care. Maybe we'll have a rip on Wednesday. Maybe it's the Bowman Jumbo. Maybe we won't. Yeah. Sorry, it's been clockwork, and now it's not going to be. But yeah, we'll rip that, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, thank you again. Until then, always rip some packs.